locking in, focusing on um, what needs to be done, coming together as a team, you know, camaraderie. What did you learn about yourselves during those two days? Um, we learned a lot just like coming together, chemistry, uh, everybody being as one, really, you know, honestly, um, just being together through adversity, through everything, the good times and the bad times. Marcus, how much did you need a game like this time? I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say I needed a game no, like everybody. this. everybody. Oh, all everyone, you guys. Everyone. Not just you. We all, we needed this bad, knowing that we, Christmas break is right now, and we're just, we wanted to go on Christmas break happy, not going in feeling sorry for ourselves, knowing that we had a dub going into the Virginia game. Marcus, did you see some things early that you could get in the lane? Uh, yeah, obviously, the coaches told me before, uh, there was, this was, this was going to be a game for me to get in the lane and play on two feet and find my teammates or find a shot for myself. And I kind of saw it a little later in the first half, but obviously, I got adjusted to it and it got, it was good for me. Marcus, offensively, what changed as a whole for you guys in the second half? Uh, we just came together. We, we had halftime and we, just, we were all talking to each other. This is one of the first times that we were all speaking instead of just not just being quiet, waiting for Coach Hughes to talk. And I feel like our team camaraderie has gotten a lot better over the past couple of weeks. And going into the second half, Coach Hughes told us we needed to get stops and we needed to get a score. And that's what we did. Tay, how did you guys handle everything that happened on Tuesday with not only the loss, but with Micah saying what he said as far as he needed to find guys that needed to compete. If you didn't want to compete, you can go with the transfer portal. Like, when coach is that mad, how do you compartmentalize that and, and say, coach is pissed, but we still got to go win a game on Friday? I mean, we all committed here to him. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's our guy. No matter what, we stand 10 toes behind him. You know what I mean? He stand 10 toes behind us. He won what's best for us. You know what I'm saying? And we won what's best for the team. So, you know, it just, it got us to come together. You know what I'm saying? And just like when we hit adversity, go after it. You know what I'm saying? And, and try to do what's better. But we should have did better instead of, you know, bumping heads and different things like that, we came together and, you know, working out for the better for us. So as angry as he was, how angry were you guys? Like, we got to be better than what we showed up. 100%. Yeah, we were, it was, we were angry for sure, 100%. You know, that's something that um, is unexcusable. But, you know, bounce back, um, try to be better in the future. That's, you know, all we can pretty much do. So that's what we're going to try to do moving forward.